morning folks, my name is Kevin here with True Nature Farm in Boulder, Utah, and we're about to construct a cold frame. We've got a few materials here, We've got some straw bills for insulation, we've got a sheet of plywood, some scrap lumber for earlier jobs, a sheet of polycarbonate plastic, and just a few garden tools to help us along. We're going to show you how to take all of this and turn it into, into this. As you can see, our cold frame is here to help our spring greens get an early start. Uh, we've got various lettuce, we've got spinach, some mustards. We also have some herbs and some carrots uh, that are getting a fresh start before our last frost this year. <laughs> As you can see, we've just finished constructing our cold frame. Our plywood sheet, we cut into one foot high sections with our scrap lumber reinforcing the corners and also giving our roof something to set on. Now we just have to find a place to put it. Well, we found a spot for our cold frame. This is the site of an old compost pile that we've used. But there's still plenty of organic material in the soil. We're going to be using a technique called double digging, which is basically to dig two shovel lengths deep to break up the soil and give the plants more room to grow and more access to oxygen and nutrients. Well, we just finished double digging our bed. And as you can see, our soil here is a lot more loose and bulky than this soil here, which is what we started with. You can just see the difference in the level there. The next step is to level the bed itself. When we do this, because when we water the bed, we want the water to spread evenly throughout the bed. So if it's level, it's a lot easier to make that happen. We're going to have a few earthworms around here, which is a sign of good fertile soil. Alright, so well we finished leveling our bed, and now we've dug a little trench on either side to angle the cold frame towards the south and towards the sun. So that way it'll collect more sunlight throughout the day. If I can get my two lovely assistants to help me, we'll set that right in this little trench. Thank you very much. All right, well we've got our frame in the ground. We piled some dirt up around the edges that comes up to about the same height as the dirt inside the bed. Um, as you can see, the bed is at a slight angle um, to collect more of that sunlight like we talked about before. But the inside of the bed is still nice and flat and level with the ground so that water can spread evenly throughout. Our next step is to insulate the inside of the bed from the elements what we're going to use is these straw bales. Just set it on the outside like so. And it will protect our little plant starts and lettuce and early spring greens from that cold of the last frost. done with our cold frame. We built our frame, we put our insulation around it, and we've got our plastic cover ready to put over. Before we do that, we're going to plant some seeds. First thing we're going to do is we're planting parsley, is dig a little trench here. Along the length. 
length of our frame. Take some seeds and just sprinkle them in there. cold frame is just to pull the cover over top. Get that evening frost off of them. So we've just shown you the basics on how to build a cold frame. It's important to know that when you get closer to summer and on especially hot days, you want to remove this plastic cover to prevent your plants from getting scorched by the heat. So from seeds to parsley, you have about six weeks. Hmm, that's good. So from all of us here at True Nature Farm, happy planting.